and I'm the founder of Intrepid English. And recently I have been answering student questions. So today's question is from our student in Greece. She's called Rhoda and she's been struggling with something that is really, really common. She's asked me if I can give her any advice about how to avoid the process of translating from her native language into English when she's speaking. So this is really, really common. And the reason that a lot of English learners do this is because it's necessary when you're a beginner. You need to transfer your knowledge in your native language into English. However, when you are no longer a beginner, when you are able to speak English, then it's really hard to switch off that process of translating. So how can we do that? There are several ways to, to help your brain to bypass that process. One of those is to listen to English. And I mean, not just active listening, okay? So not just sitting down, listening to a podcast or watching a TED talk and writing down the new vocabulary, but also try to do passive listening, okay? That means playing the English radio in the background when you're at home, having it on when you're going for a walk or at the gym, for example. And by having that in the background, not paying really close attention to it, but just getting your, your ears and your brain used to listening to English all the time, it will remind you to switch on the English brain. It will remind you to think more in English. And over time, that will show your brain that you can stay in English. Another good tip is to help your brain to avoid translating when you're learning new vocabulary by looking up a new word or phrase in an English dictionary, okay? Not looking it up in a dictionary that will translate from your native language, okay? If you look in an English dictionary, you will find the pronunciation, you will find collocations or the prepositions that go with that word, and you can see some example sentences as well. Another great thing is that you will be able to understand multiple meanings for that word or phrase. This is something that you won't get if you just translate the word. So stay in English as much as possible. Try to think in English. Maybe when you're out for a walk, you notice the things you can see and think about them in English. Okay, I can see a tall man walking a black and white dog and he's chatting on the phone. You can be as adventurous as you like. You can make these sentences into a long narrative using lots of nice vocabulary or simply just notice what's around you, but do it in English. And soon you will notice that the process of translating becomes less and less until it's gone. Let me know how you get on. I would love to hear from you. And please let me know if you have any other questions. I'd be happy to answer them. Okay. From everyone at Intrepid English, have a wonderful day.